Welcome back, my friends, to Settlers of Orion. Uh, probably the last entry, because if you recall, Sako here is within a stone's throw of winning. You need 30 to win. He's got 26. I am tied for second with Shale here at 20. I'm tied for second with Arbor and Shale. Um, I might be able to get a couple more on the next turn, but so is he. See, he's got a mining ship that's probably moving there or there. I've got a mining ship that's moving there. I've got a colony ship, but still got all the way to go there. Uh, and yeah, so I'll be very lucky if I get close to winning. Um, well, let's see what happens. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Oh, that was nice. Um, yeah, we're back. Okay. I just muted the mic so I can blow my nose. Excuse me. A little phlegmy today. Uh, it's a little rainy and whatnot. Which I'll be... I have a nose thing. It's not an allergy, but it's a sinus thing. And when it gets a little rainy, sometimes my nose get runny. gets runny. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good time. For resources, oxygen. oxygen concentrator constructed. We need oxygen and food to build different types of ships. Dang. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Remote mining operation Dang. established. Well, then only put him one ahead of me. Let's see what let's see what Sako does. Seiko, Sako, I don't know. This ship is probably going to move and give him another victory point, but I don't know what else. Colony ship construction. Ah, god damn it! Oh damn! That's what I thought. Whew. Player four won with 30 victory points. And as you can see, they have every type. Uh, they've got points from everything, which is really what you should do. I don't think I got any tokens. Oh, I have tokens. How did I get tokens? Wait, it costs a hundred tokens? And I've only earned eleven? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I'll have to win some more rounds, but you can unlock these are the things you can unlock with tokens. You can unlock new races. Uh and artifacts. Like increase your home world. Um disable all opponent structures on a planet that you're colonized, which is interesting. Uh, allows you to select which wormhole to travel to. So there are neat artifacts you can unlock and neat races you can unlock. Uh, level 2 races and level 3 races get more perks. As you see, they have 2 perks, 3 perks. And uh, yeah, you can see they have, have like the 3 perks. Holy crap, that's a perk. <laughs> really? That's a perk? Uh, okay. So there are reasons to keep playing. So yeah, that is Settlers of Orion, guys. Uh, it's $5, and I just had a great time playing it. As you saw, matches don't last long. That was, what, a little over an hour? And you can save every time, any time and come back. Uh, and you do get a little something uh, for even losing. Um, I'm going to have to win a few more games. I'm going to have to try and win some games to unlock some things. But... Um, that's what the difficulties are for. That's what lose bonus tokens. So, so, yeah. What would I change? Interesting. So you can change these things. I didn't know that. So even if you lose, you get more tokens because they started at advantage. 
That's pretty cool. I'll have to try this, um, I'll have to try this player plays last option next. So yeah, I really like this game, y'all. It's fun. Uh, it's varied, it's engaging. And it's really well thought out. Uh, it's got a good manual that you can read right from the Steam page if you're interested. But again, it's $5, and there's a lot of playability and replayability here. So I can't recommend it enough. This is really good. Uh, and I'm not even into board games, so that tells you something. So thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, what is next week? Next week is something. Um, hang on. What is next week? I think it's Interstellar Trading Company. Let me double check. Come on. Interstellar, excuse me, Transport Company is next week because it comes out this week. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, again, this game is great. It is $5. Definitely worth your time if you have any interest in worker placement games at all. Again, there's no combat. It's all about the proper use and gathering of resources and gaining victory points. It's very thoughtful. There's a lot that went into it. And um, it's just great. For $5, you cannot go wrong with this game. So thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.